title of today's video is uh, Ancient Egypt uh, Female Culture. In the ancient uh, Egypt, Egyptian culture of the female was considered the, the more advanced, the more spiritual. Uh, orators were, who were females dominated both in Greece and in Egypt. I think the reason why the female has a greater tendency to be more spiritual is that she doesn't have to deal with a genetic male side like a male does. A male has to deal with both female and, and male chromosomes. Uh, and also, too, the, in the female culture, which uh, can intuitively uh, bring in the, the male energy, and I notice the word intuitively bring in it rather than to be born with it, has a greater uh, chance seemingly to uh, have control over both energies, almost to the point that the female might appear to be uh, androgynous. Uh, or that the culture might be androgynous. So, you know, some some of the spins on this thing in the in the Old, in the Old Testament, especially in Genesis, you know, it says that uh, in the beginning, uh, you know, the world without form and without void, and then there was light. Well, the void of the darkness uh, from a Faustian uh, angle, uh, if you know what that means, uh, uh, from Faust who wrote the, uh, I mean, it was written by uh, a, a German uh, poet. Uh, playwright uh, named uh, Gerter or Goyth, or how, how you want to pronounce it, or Geet. Uh, he uh, talked about uh, the darkness had to do with being feminine and that the light had to do with masculine, you know. So it has a whole new twist to the, uh, you know, darkness is beneath his feet, you know, and that the darkness is necessarily something that's satanic. Even in the Genesis, it says the evening, the morning of the first day. Notice the order of the evening, you know, which is feminine energy. And then the, the the night or the day, or the light uh, or the morning, whatever, is masculine or not. So, uh, it's uh, we were forced in this society to go more towards a consciousness feel, which is more feminine, uh, feminine energy, uh, in order to make our advances here in the, in the future. But in doing that, uh, feminine energy has a uh, certain moral morality built into it. That's designed to help others, when not rather than to help than to help oneself. In today's society, the, the female has to almost act like a whore in order to uh, to capture the interests of the male, who, who in many respects is is a lesser being than the female. I don't care what the Genesis account says. You know, the beginning was man and woman, and, and he created Adam first, when not. That those are all metaphorical things. They're not they're not talking about a physical race of people, and so on. Um, the, um, the the uh, the female uh, ran the show. Not like today in the last couple hundred years, where we have uh, p uh, matriarchies, which were really just uh, 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 cloaks or cover-ups for a patri uh, patricy. When that was basically a male-dominated society. When that and male-dominated society, male-dominated uh, science. When that, if it had been more feminine, when that, we could have probably gone a lot further in the sciences when uh, we could have been shown from the etheric field exactly what the solution was for a <clears throat> for an invention to be made rather than go through this long lengthy process that we can sort of be the uh, you know uh, the proper analysis which analysis we got both from the uh, from the Socratic uh, process as well as the Gnostics so anyway that's uh, that's my say and uh, it's too bad that uh, well, it's, it is not necessarily too bad, but it's 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 happening now that we're going more towards a balance between the male and the female uh, energy, and uh, that's going to uh, be a, a disgruntling uh, f effect for the uh, for the governments who want to uh, control, manipulate people, because you're finding out that they can't.